guess you guys found me. Well, welcome to the first day of the rest of your life, aka uh, my new place. Ugh, God, that's dark. Let's try this over here. We're, we're experimenting with this review. Let's try on different things. This is a uh, computer room. This is kind of the equivalent of the first room where we did these reviews. Not my personal room, but I thought, you know, maybe we'll try some still moving furniture up. I have an idea. I have a plan for um, the final for the uh, final place. It's probably going to be in my personal room, but uh, we still haven't got the furniture. I'm trying to tweak it a little. An entertainment system. Uh, I'm trying to hook it up so that I can get um, play the DVDs actually on my computer and hook them up to the TV because PS3 is kind of conking out because the controller, my controller, my PS3 controller is uh, giving me trouble and every it's oh, it's trouble every time I plug it in so it takes me like 10 minutes to try and like get it to stop acting up before I can like start the review otherwise it just keeps rewinding back to the beginning of the review, you know, the, the movie so so yeah, so I'm trying to watch them on my computer for now. Um, I have another DVD player that, that's kind of wonky too, so my computer is probably the next best thing. Um, but staring at the computer is kind of weird, so I just, I'm trying to, I'm, I've got an HDMI, I've got a new HDMI TV, so I'm plugging that in and all that good stuff, so. So yeah, but anyway, for those of you who have forgotten who I am, hello there, Nate Jackson, Criterion Collection Review Guy here. With, uh, let's, oh god. Oh god, I, for, I forgot, I forgot what I was reviewing, what the, what the video was today. Yeah, for those of you wondering where, why there was no review on Monday, well, where was I, I thought Monday was gonna suck. Well, it didn't suck. Why? Because it didn't come in on Monday, or Tuesday, or no, um, Sunday. I thought it was gonna come in before the end of the weekend, but I went to work on Sunday and it wasn't there, so. I couldn't do anything about it. Um, I probably could have watched the movie on Hulu, but it's like any any reason for me to put off Pasolini, you know. And I almost thought about going out of order just for this one because, uh, you know, because I hated missing a day, you know. But um, I may make up for that by doing two tomorrow. We may do two tomorrow because I don't want to. I don't want to lose this momentum. I want to keep like working on these, um, especially considering, uh, especially because considering I found. A little more free times open up for me, so uh, I I might be able to do multiple reviews some days, at least shorter ones. You know, I'm, I'm gonna, if it's a two disker, that's gonna be one day, or we'll just save those for one day. But if it's a one disker, we might be able to do two a day. We'll see. But anyway, um, oh god, I might as well get this over with. Uh, number number two thirty six. Pier Paolo Pasolini's Mama Roma. Just Jesus H. Christ. And, uh, well, it's not sallow bad. <laughs> there is no, I mean, it's only one, I mean, you know, there's only one movie that's, that's sallow bad. And that's not even in the Criterion Collection. And if it ever is, I'm quitting. Because, you know. But you know, cr criteria never do it. They're a little, they're a little more uppity than that. Although they would probably do it for a April Fool's Day prank. I mean, they did it for the the Chud, the name Chud or Kindergarten Cop. Um, but anyway, yeah, 1962, 110 minutes Italian, and yeah, this movie further cements my opinion of Pasolini. I mean, we've only seen Solo, and then this. And I looked it up, and we only have three more. Um, we have three more of his movies, which are three more too many. I mean, we shouldn't even watch the first two. But we've got them. There's no escaping them. Uh, however, they're in the 600s, so they won't be for another three or four years, which is godsend. Yeah. But for now, we got this piece of junk. And uh, God, it's bad. It's a bad movie. It's not so bad, but it's bad movie because it's possibly, and he don't know how to make movies. I'm just gonna say it: you don't know how to make movies. 
So what is this movie about? You know, it's about this woman, this former prostitute, who's just called Mama Roma. And uh, the opening scene has her, like, at some woman's wedding, and her, I think her and her, her pimp gets married off or something like that, or I don't remember, but she sings this annoying-ass song that doesn't rhyme or anything like that. You know, take some, take some lessons from, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, René Claire, Le Million, Le Million director. I kind of forget. Is it René Claire? It's René Claire, yeah. But yeah, so her son, Mama, uh, Mama Roma's son, grows up, and, uh, and he's a teenager, and I think they lose track from each other. And uh, when he grows up, he's like 16 now, and his name's, um, his name is the same name as the actor, and, uh, and the booklet is not in here. Uh, Erwin. I'll call him Erwin. Or I'll look him up. It's Erwin or something like that. Um, it starts with an E. Gosh, I can't forget his name. I don't know why I'm concerned. Ettore. Et Ettore, yeah. So Ettore um, is basically just sees the kid and she invites him into her, her house and she tries to keep him on the straight and narrow because she's basically cleaned up. She's bought herself a little fruit stand where she sells fruits and all that. But she still wanders the streets and I guess like just teases the guys and hangs out with her old girlfriends and all that. And uh, Ettore, you know, is, is trying, is tries, tries, but at the same time he's a teen. He, he's just, he's going to get in trouble. And so basically he ends up falling for this really young, this, um, this girl, uh, Bruna, who, who, uh, the actress, uh, what's her name? Silvana Corsini is the only reason why I wouldn't give this movie an F because she's relatively attractive. I mean, I mean, Mama Roma, a Anna McNanny is pretty fugly, but you know, but I, I, a lot of that is probably the part and not the actress herself. I'm sure she looked really beautiful, but I'm just looking at this because I never, I don't recall the last time I've seen this woman. I mean, maybe we've seen her in the film. I don't remember, but let's just pretend that this is the first time I've seen her. And uh, yeah, not much to look at compared to Bruna. So, Ettore falls with, for Bruna. Uh, Bruna hangs out with the rough crowd. Ettore starts hanging out with the rough crowd, um, gets himself beat up, and gets into the scam where he like like robs, steals from um, from like hospitals. He pretends that he's like um, these relative, like he's a relative of all the patients staying there. And uh, any at first he's against it, but when he fi he eventually finds out. I think his um, his father, or their, their his his father, the pimp, tells him, or tells him that uh, his mom used to be a prostitute and he's a pimp and all that. So he gets upset and he gets he goes goes on a life of crime and all that and basically. He gets himself arrested and he dies while being like tied down to this table. He starves to death or something like that, and, and while well, he's tied down to this table, just like you know Jesus. And there's a lot of weird religious like imagery in here, and I just oh god, it just it just doesn't make any sense. And yeah, so anyway, the movie basically ends with Mama Roma just like you know like realizing that she lost him. And she, like, and I don't, and I swear they cut some stuff out because, like, the last scene is you see him die on the table, and suddenly, like, Mama Roma just has this, like, weird epiphany where she starts to run. She starts, like, she's sitting at the fruit stand, and she starts running toward the apartment, and she finds his clothes, and she embraces them, and she looks out the window, and she looks like she's going to throw herself out the window, and I thought, okay, there's, there's your ending. She freaks out. She kills herself, you know, because of her guilt, you know. It's maybe it's a message of, like, you know, how because she became a prostitute, you know, it all kind of comes back to bite her in the butt, you know. You know, and so when her the son finds out, she loses her son because her son goes on the straight and narrow because of what she did, you know. Her son can't handle the fact that she used to sleep with men for money. So, you know, and that could make a little more sense. But no, the people... Follow people, all these people follow her and like hold her out of the window, hold her away from the window. She stares off at I guess what was the prison or the, another town, 
And that's the end of the movie. And I like I watched it two times. Like just to make sure that I wasn't missing anything, that I didn't miss any like like hidden meaning or any like secret moments, but no. Kid dies, she runs off, she finds the clothes, she looks out the window, she almost flies out the window, they pull her back, she looks eventually at the town across the street from her, across the way, and it says, Fiend, that's it. What a horrible movie. What a stupid, it's a stupid movie, that's what it is. It's not a horrible movie, it's a stupid movie. And, yeah, it's just bad. Pasolini, man, he can't make a movie to save his goddamn life. I'm sorry, I just, I can't stand this fool. He is, he is to Italian film what Godard is to French film. It's just, it's just sad. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. And, uh. I mean, it doesn't help that Pasolini was, you know, a just a horrible person at that too. I mean, apparently, according I I knew little to nothing of him. I mean, outside of after watching these um, supplements on the second disc, which we'll talk about for a second. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just... D minus. Yep. D minus. That's that's all I can give this. I can't give this anything better than D minus. And like I said, it would it would be an F because this is for this further like this this convinced me that Pasolini can't make a good film. It has no no good you know. I mean, it's like he's out. He's seriously out to shock. You know, it's like it's like with Godard, his movies are bad, but. He isn't, like, trying to do anything that would upset people. He just makes movies that are just really just, just, you know, that are very self-indulgent and very, they're very self-indulgent and he doesn't apologize for them. I mean, it doesn't help that they both wear those shades, you know, shades with the, you know, where you can't see their eyes, you know. Although Pasolini, you can see his eyes a little better. I don't think I've ever seen Godard's eyes, um, which is a lot, which is a lie. I've seen photos and I can't remember what his eyes look like though. So, yeah, so D minus. Movie sucks. Pasolini sucks. He's, and he's a shitty director. He's a shitty director, and he and let that be a lesson to you. Shoot, I lost my train of thought. It's a shitty director, basically. Um, yeah, D minus sucks. Uh, disc one, posters, trailer, trailer sucks. Disc two, uh, three interviews. Uh, interview with uh, Bernardo Bertolucci, which is the assistant director on on uh, Pasolini's first film, Acatone. Uh, then Ton Tonino Deli Colli, cinematographer on eleven of Pasolini's fourteen films. And Enzo Siniano, uh, author of Pasolini, a biography. They basically kiss his butt. That's all you need to know. Uh, and then there's uh, Pierre pa Paolo Pasolini, uh, which is a 58-minute 58, 58 documentary made in 95. Basically just giving you his life story, for the most part. Uh, they don't get into the, the murder, but it's whatever. And, uh, I mean, I think they should have, because... Yeah. But yeah, you basically just got to see. I got to see clips from his other films, and that was one. It's one horrible. There's one film. I don't know what it is, and I, I, I know it's gotta be one of the three that we're gonna see in season seven or whatever, the six hundred series. Um, some nun wants to have sex with this mute guy, and this other nun's like telling her not to, but they convince him to go into a barn, and like he's really dumb at first. And she's like trying to tell him to have sex with her, and he figures it out. He pulls his pants down, and she smiles. And the next thing you see is a penis, just just this penis just hanging out there. I'm like, I want to see this. And he jumps on top of her and starts having sex with her. I'm like, and the other nun is looking at her and smiling. I'm like, God. Then of course we see scenes from Solo. There have to be scenes from Solo, which I skipped. I don't need to see this shit again. I don't never want to see that shit. If anything, 
I want to see the only thing I'd see is that joke. The, there's that joke when the the Nazi, the, the fascists, are in the car. And one of them tells a joke, and that was the only time I smiled, because it was a joke I had never heard before. And that was the only time I, I like, I smiled at this movie, and I can't believe I smiled. But it was early in the film. I didn't know what was to come. I had a feeling, you know, just from looking at the screenshots of the booklet and the menus. So I knew, I had a feeling that this was going to be a real weird one. But I did not know how horrendously bad this movie was. Um, but anyway, so it was an hour long documentary about a guy who didn't need a documentary. And then there is a movie, a short film called uh, La Ricotta, made in 63. 35 minutes, uh, it's a Pasolini film, starring Orson Welles, of all people. Um, Orson Welles plays this director who's trying to make this like film about the Jesus Christ and there's a bunch of weird silent movie clips in it and there's a bunch of people twisting and a bunch of like guys shirtless twisting which I'm sure Pasolini loved because he was you know um, but yeah it's just it's just kind of just, it didn't make, it made less sense than any of the other films you know but um, I guess that's probably the point he either makes movies that make sense but are horrendous or movies that are horrendous and don't make sense I don't know all I know is I mean, this, was, this was not a good day um yeah so anyway Mama Roma D minus blah <sighs> sorry I just need to Compose myself for a second. So yeah, so um, this was I meant to do this earlier. It's like about what 7:30 right now as I film this, um, and that's the great thing too. I like that this is light. I mean, there's a lot of light now, and so the great thing is, at least in this room, and I tried it in my room too. Camera works okay. If we were in my old room, um, because of the lighting, because of the the lamp, you know, everything would look really choppy and all that. But I'm, I'm happy with this. I don't know how you guys feel, but I'm happy with this view. Looks good. I'm moving my hand and everything's really fast and all that. So, yeah, no, no slowdowns or anything like that. So I, I like this. And that means that we can probably do more than one review. I mean, maybe, um, you know, I think that's one of the things that was keeping me from doing reviews at night, too. I mean... So I may start doing them after work, you know, if I have the energy or time, you know. But um, you know, certain days are pretty busy. Like Fridays, Fridays are pretty. I'm pretty busy most Fridays, so you know, you probably would never see a review on those days. Um, and uh, Tuesday, Tuesdays would be tricky too. So you may not see ever see a review unless I have the day off, in which case so be it. But um, yeah, so I'm just trying to move ahead. I I'm enjoying. I'm liking this new place. Um, I'm liking the fact that the lighting in here is really good, and I'm I'm happy with the lighting. And so yeah, I want to just I want to start cracking, cracking on these. I want to get these done with. I want to just keep moving on these, just because um, I want to see what's next. Yeah. Especially after this piece of crap, you know, I definitely want to see what's next. But speaking of what's next, oh god, I spoke too soon. Oh, I spoke too soon. Cause you know what's next. You know what's next. You you know what's next. It's 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 everyone's favorite. It's everyone's favorite Swedish director. Everyone's favorite Swede. Bergman. Smiles of a summer night. Oh Jesus H Christ. And then speak of the devil. Speak of the goddamn devil. Look what's in that. Look what's after that. Guitar! A woman is a woman. Oh, God. Look at this shit. Oh, but, but, this weekend. Oh, this weekend, though. We do have, we have good, we have good this weekend. Very good this weekend. Look, we got, we got, we got Gabin. We got Gabin at the uh, Renoir, Lower Depths. And we got Kurosawa, the Lower Depths. Right on. So, this weekend will be good. We have some good, we have some good movies coming up. And then, uh, then what else we got? Oh, and then, of course, next week we got... 
what's next? Where, where is it? Where is it? Oh, of course, next week. No, not that one. Uh, early summer, of course. And then, uh, let's see. And then, then next week, we also got the the stage and spectacle box set, the John Renoir, the movies, uh, what was it first? Uh, the Golden Coach, it has the Golden Coach, and, and the French Can Can, and uh, of course, the Leonard Henner Men. And then after that, we've got um, Port of Shadows. The week after that, uh, Port of Shadows, uh, E. Vitellini, um, which uh, I happen to have. Another Fellini film, which I happen to have right here. Um, Slacker and Videodrome. Port of Shadows is another one that I currently am unable to get from DVD. Um, however, I was able to find a VHS copy, um, which means I'll have to have my VHS player set up um, within two weeks. And uh, thankfully, there aren't any supplements on that outside of the trailer, so all I have to do is just watch the movie, and that'll be it. Um, it's and it's the sad thing is it is out of print too, so I you know I can't watch it. I don't think they have it on Hulu, so this is the only way I'll be able to see this movie. Um, I actually haven't checked. I haven't checked online. There could be a stream somewhere of the actual Criterion remastering, but um, I'm, I'll look into it. We've still got two weeks. Still got. Still got Ozu and Renoir next week, so we've got some time. And I, um, the other ones, like I said, Ethan Lutellini I have, Slacker's on its way, Videodrome's on its way. Videodrome, we might do something special with Videodrome. I'm not sure yet. I have some details to work out. But uh, if, all, if, all, if this all works out, Videodrome might be a fun review. We'll see. Anyway... Stupid movie. It's just... Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Um, geez, don't be a prostitute because then your son will steal from old people in hospitals. And uh, you know what? You know what? You know what the best moral you can get from this is? Don't be Pier Paolo Pasolini. Don't be a shitty director. Because if you're a shitty director, you make shitty movies. If you make shitty movies and you're a shitty director, then you get murdered. Simple as that. So if you don't want to die, don't make shitty movies. Okay? Of course, that doesn't explain what... That doesn't explain Godard. Who said that? Who said that? There are ghosts in this house. This... Stuttering ghosts, hammering ghosts, and all that. But anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching, and we will see you tomorrow for oh, Bergman. Bergman, 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 and maybe Godard, 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 Godard. This is, this is all kinds of all kinds of popular, all kinds of crappy directors. Oh, well, well, Burton, and a light, well, um, punchline, I bought scenes from a marriage. I'll just, I'm just saying that, you know. I, I re and they better not announce a Blu-ray anytime soon, because I'm going to be pissed that I didn't hold out for that. But, um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for maybe two, one, two, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, welcome to the new place. And we'll see you tomorrow for more Criterions. Until then, goodbye.